We are LCC. 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 We are LCC, and this is our story. And this is our story. 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 God created Lutheran Church of the Cross to be on mission. In 1984, God planted the vision of a new church in the hearts and minds of a small band of Jesus followers who wanted to be on mission in their local community. This new church began to gather and worship the Lord and hear His Word in a former flower shop in Old Town Altoona. God's faithfulness to His mission was seen from the beginning when in 1985, LCC purchased our current property and began meeting in a house. Renovations and an addition were needed to transform the house into a place where we could all worship together. The cost was $25,000, and no one knew where the money would come from. But God had a plan. A church in Monona, Iowa happened to be celebrating their 100th anniversary and decided to donate some money to LCC. They had no idea how much was needed, but donated the exact amount, $25,000. What a gift. God's faithfulness to His mission existed from the beginning. Over the years, God has been faithful to keep us on track for His mission by giving us a commitment to four things. First, a commitment to God's Word. This led us to help start a new network of churches in the year 2000 called Lutheran Congregations in Mission for Christ. Second, a commitment to prayer. God has guided LCC in so many ways, including making it clear to stay on our current property in 1999 after having decided to build new facilities in another part of Altoona. Third, a commitment to the priesthood of all believers. LCC has embraced the truth that all followers of Jesus have full authority to represent Him. And so, there have been intentional efforts to train and equip disciples of Jesus. Fourth, a commitment to being on mission. From throwing big parties for the community, to sending mission teams overseas, to helping start new churches, God has shown us that church is not about us. Church is about the mission God has given us. Even with these commitments, being on mission for 30 years hasn't always been easy. There have been times of disagreement and discouragement, but God has been faithful to see us through those times, and He has refined us through the process. We could talk about the many building projects and the tremendous growth in attendance over the years, but ultimately, God's mission for LCC has always been to be a Jesus-centered community on mission that makes disciples. So today we celebrate God's faithfulness to that mission. We celebrate the five-year-old who discovered that we can't go to church because we are the church. The woman who discovered the gifts God had given her on her mission trip to South Africa. The man who found encouragement for a new way of life through the AA group that meets in our facilities the widow who found comfort and hope in Christ to take the next step forward, the man who discovered acceptance and community in Christ through our welcome ministry, the woman who surrendered her life to Jesus after running from God her entire life, the teenager who found love through this church when his life was turned upside down, the man who discovered freedom when he learned how to handle his finances God's way. The men and women this church has equipped and sent out to start new ministries and churches. We celebrate all those who have come to know Jesus through LCC and are fulfilling their role in the body of Christ. God has been so faithful to see His mission carried out for 30 years. Back in 1985, LCC's first pastor, Alan Thorson, said, My prayer for Lutheran Church of the Cross is that it will never cease being a mission church. Then in 1994, LCC's second pastor, Mark Vanderteig, said, We are a mission congregation, and I hope always will be. Today, we are a mission church. We are a Jesus-centered community on mission. 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 On mission. On mission. On mission.